Good morning, everybody. Happy Easter. We're going to start. Um, my name's Alice. I know, I think I know all of you. Um, or if I don't know you, then I probably know your mum or your dad, or maybe your granny or your granddad or your teacher. Um, so we're going to have a lot of fun this morning. And you know, the best thing about lockdown is that if you fall on your face, no one will know. Your friends won't know because they're not there. And if you do something that looks really, really silly, no one will know. No one will know because your friends aren't there. You're just at home. So that's great. So uh, I challenge you this morning to be as creative as you can and to have as much fun as you can. We're going to do a lot of jumping around. So that's why you need your water. Um, and we're going to get started. So the first thing that we're going to do, it's really easy. I just want you to copy everything that I do. We're going to get ourselves warmed up. We're going to warm up our bodies and our voices a little bit as well. So I'm going to just put some music on and you guys just do everything I do. If I make a noise, you make a noise. If I move, you move. That's how it works. Okay. Let's get started. We're going to start, we're going to do a really big yawn, okay? I want a loud yawn. And then one. friend Bob getting up in the morning. Do you feel like Bob now? I hope you do. Okay, we are going to do one of my favourite warm-ups now. And this is all about planting things, growing things, and peeling things. And then the last one's sort of going a bit crazy. So we're going to pretend that we're farmers this morning, okay? So for planting things, I want you to imagine that you've got some seeds or maybe a bulb, okay, in your hand. 
and we're going to plant some corn. Okay, that's the first one. So we're going to imagine we're putting some corn into the ground and we're going to say, plant the corn, plant, plant the corn, plant the corn, plant, plant the corn. And then we're going to grow the corn. Okay, so I want you to grow really tall like a corn. Grow the corn, grow, grow the corn. Grow the corn, grow, grow the corn. Big stretch. And then we're going to peel the corn. Peel, peel the corn. Peel the corn. Peel, peel the corn. And then this is the really fun bit. We're going to pop the corn. So you can go a bit crazy. Pop the corn, pop, pop the corn. Pop the corn, pop, pop the corn. Okay, so that's the first one. Then we're going to do potatoes okay so we're going to plant potatoes plant plant potatoes then we're gonna grow potatoes grow grow potatoes I want you to imagine you're a big potato then we're gonna peel potatoes peel peel potatoes and then this is the fun bit you need to get your hands into fists we're gonna have nice flat feet like that and we're gonna Mash potatoes, mash, mash potatoes, mash potatoes, mash, mash potatoes. Okay, and then the last one, number three, is bananas. Okay, so get your seeds ready. We're gonna plant bananas, plant, plant bananas, and then to grow them, we're gonna go up one side, grow bananas, grow, grow bananas, make a really good banana shape. Peel bananas. Peel, peel bananas. And then, of course, go bananas! Go, go bananas! Okay, and you can have a little bit of crazy time. Okay, so we're going to do all of that from the beginning. So we're going to do corn, and then we're going to do potatoes, and then we're going to do bananas. Okay, are you ready? I hope you are. Get your seeds ready. And off we go. Plant the corn, plant, plant the corn, plant the corn, plant, plant the corn, and grow the corn, grow, grow the corn, grow the corn, grow, grow the corn, and peel the corn, peel, peel the corn, peel the corn, peel, peel the corn, and pop the corn, pop, pop the corn, pop the corn, pop, pop the corn, and potatoes. So Plant potatoes, plant, plant potatoes, plant potatoes, plant, plant potatoes, and grow potatoes, grow, grow potatoes, grow potatoes, grow, grow potatoes, peel potatoes, peel, peel potatoes, peel potatoes, peel, peel potatoes, and mash potatoes, mash, mash potatoes, mash potatoes, mash, mash potatoes, and Plant bananas, plant, plant bananas, plant bananas, plant, plant bananas, grow bananas, grow, grow bananas, grow bananas, grow, grow bananas, and peel bananas, peel, peel bananas, peel bananas, peel, peel bananas, and go bananas, go, go bananas, go bananas, go, go bananas. Really bananas, crazy bananas. We love the bananas. <sighs> okay, well done everyone. Grab a quick drink of water. I think I'm gonna have to take my jumper off because it's getting a bit warm already, which is a great start. <sighs> okay, much better. Now, Hopefully everyone's had a drink of water and you're feeling a bit warm. That's what we like. The next thing we're gonna do is really, really easy. Apart from the fact that it's really, really hard. And I don't know why it's so hard, because it's so easy, but it's so hard. I had my mum and my dad doing this the other day and they couldn't do it at all. So see if you can be better than my mum and my dad. I think you all know my mum and my dad. So there you go. See if you can beat them. We're gonna do some jumping, okay? So this is how it goes. 
I want you to stand sideways. So don't face the front, face sideways, okay? And we're gonna do eight jumps, okay? Eight little jumps. And we're gonna do seven jumps facing this way. And then on number eight, we're gonna jump to turn and face that way, okay? So let's go. So we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we're gonna turn eight, okay? Easy, I told you it was easy. And on this side, we're gonna do six, okay? So we're gonna do five facing this way, and then on the last one, we're gonna jump to turn round, okay? So five, one, two, three, four, five, and now we're gonna jump to turn round, six. Okay, so we did eight, then we did six, now we're gonna do four, okay? So we're gonna do three facing this way and one to turn around, okay? One, two, three, turn around. Now we're gonna do two, and this is quite hard because we're just gonna do one jump facing this way and then one jump to turn around. So one, two, and then this is the fun one. It's just one. So we're gonna turn around again, one. So the last bit where you do two and then one, that's the hardest part because you have to do two turns in a row. So we go one, two, and then back around one. So it's two turns in a row, which makes it harder. So we do eight, we do six, we do four, we do two, and then we do one, okay? Let's try and just do that slowly. And then I'm gonna put some music on and we're gonna try it, okay? So, start with eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, we're gonna turn. Then we do four. One, two, three, we turn. Then we do one and turn and another one, okay? So it's a little bit confusing at the end. How are you guys doing? Type into the chat. Do you think you're ready to try with music? Or shall we go through it again slowly? I'll leave you to decide. See if you think you know. Poppy's good, she's ready. Well done, Poppy. I think, should we just try it with music? Let's just go for it. Jack thinks it's easy. Jack's a pro, of course he is. Okay, we're gonna try it with music. This is the one and only Harry Styles. He's got a nice, slow pace. We love Harry. Come on, Jack, you've gotta get this right for me. Okay. it so I want to see how well you can do it so we're gonna do the same thing again but this time every time we do the number two 
So every time we count the number two, we're gonna clap our hands. So you're still gonna jump, but you're gonna jump and clap at the same time, okay? So for our eight, it will be like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we turn around. And then again, one, two, three, four, five, and we turn around. One, two, three, four, and we turn around. This is where it gets hard because this is the two and the one. So we do one jump, then we're gonna have to turn and clap for two, two, and then one, turn all the way around, one. So that end bit, once we get to two, we go one, two, one. Yeah? One jump facing that way, a jump and a clap to turn, and then another turn. So that goes one, two, one. Okay. I think we should try it with the clap as well. You can just keep making this harder and harder. Let's get Harry back. Okay, you ready? Let's go! One, two, five, six, seven, ten, one, could not do it. He kept, he was jumping everywhere and he kept turning around at the wrong time. It's quite funny. It's quite funny. I'll try and get a video of my dad doing it. I think you guys would like that. <gasps> okay. Hopefully, I'm getting a bit sweaty. I don't know about anyone else. It's a very sunny day, isn't it? Um, okay. We are going to make up our own movements now. Okay. We're going to spell our names. Now I know what you're thinking. It's quite easy to spell your name. Um, if you've got a really long name, I don't think anyone does here. Um, you might want to shorten it a little bit. Um, but we're going to spell our name using parts of our body from the very top of our body to the very bottom of our body. So I want you to think of the first letter of your name. So my name's Alice, so my first letter is an A, and I'm gonna do a capital A, because it's the beginning. Um, and for your first letter of your name, we're just gonna use our head and our neck. So just that bit, that top bit of your body. Um, and I want you to think of a way to make the first letter of your name using just your head and your neck. So if I'm doing a capital A, I'm gonna do that was my A, going up and down and then the line across, just with my head and my neck, okay? So see if you can work out how you can make the first letter of your name using just your head and your neck. I'm going to give you five seconds, give it a try. And then we're going to move on. Okay, so hopefully you've tried something for the first letter. Now I'm going to move on to the second letter of your name. So for me, it's an L, which is quite easy. Um, 
and we're going to use our shoulders and our arms. Okay, so just this part of our body now, we're moving down our body. So we're just going to use this part of our body to make the second letter. So I think I'm going to do this for my L. That's a capital L again. I'm going to do capitals. You can do capital letters or you can do little letters, whatever you like. Um, I'm going to do a big capital L like that with my arms. So I'm going to give you a second to think of your second letter of your name. What, do you, what are you going to do? And then when you thought of your second letter, try and add it on to your first letter. So put them together. So mine would be one, two, three. That's my first letter and my second letter. So just try that, putting your two letters together. Tuck my t-shirt in. Brilliant. Hopefully that's going okay. And then we're gonna do our third letter. And this time I want you to use just your, you can use your tummy and your hips, this middle part of your body, okay? Um, so your hips are great because they can do they can do loads of things, can't you? Your hips are quite good for big curvy letters. So think about the third letter of your name and try to make it using just your hips and your tummy, this part of your body. And when you've done that. You can try to add that onto your others. So you've got your first letter using the top of your body, your second letter using your arms and your shoulders, and then your third letter is using your hips. Have a go at putting all of your letters together. I'm gonna try that. Okay, I've got my three letters. And then for our fourth letter, I'm trying to think, I think everyone has four letters at least here. So for your fourth letter, you're gonna use your knees and your feet. Okay, so this bottom part of your body, your knees and your feet. So you could do lots of things you can do with your knees. Go up like that up like that, or you could draw your letter on the floor with your foot, that works too. You could do some jumps. Try and make your fourth letter. What am I gonna do? <sighs> okay, I think I've got something. And then try and add that onto all the others. So you've got your first letter, your second letter, your third letter with your hips, your fourth letter with your knees and your feet. So try going through all of that. Now I think, one, two, three, four, some people have got more letters than four. So if you've got more than four letters, we need to keep going. So we're gonna go back up, back up our body. So number five, your fifth letter, Go back to using your hips again for your fifth letter. So you've done one, two, three, four, five. We're back here. Looks a bit like head, shoulders, knees, and toes. Try and make your fifth letter with your hips. If you don't have five letters, you can just keep practicing your sequence of letters. Or if you want, you can try to move on to your last name, but you might be there for a long time if you do that. So that's number five. And then if you've got six letters, use your arms and your shoulders again to make number six. I don't have six letters in my name. So you're, you've got more work, you've got to work harder than me if you've got six letters. I think, I don't think anyone's got more than six letters. I think that's the most that we have. So, 
Once you've thought of all your letters, just try to practice doing your whole name all the way down your body and maybe back up if you've got lots of letters and try to see, just go through that sequence and try and do it a few times over and over again. I'm gonna try mine while you try yours. Okay. Okay, hopefully you had a couple of tries of that and everyone's finished. I'm going to put some music on um, and I think we should just try with some music. So if you want, you can try to do it quite fast or you can try to do it quite slow if your one's quite a tricky one. Um, I'll put some music on. So just try it a few times. It doesn't matter if you get it wrong because no one's watching. Let's try this music. See if you can make a dance of your name. everyone's had a try of that. I want to try something fun now. This is a challenge for you if you're really good at that. See if you can do your name backwards using your movements. So I had four letters so my name stopped at my feet. So see if you can do, spell your name backwards. Okay I'll put the music back on and have a go at doing it backwards. And if you want, you can try to do it all the way down and then backwards all the way up try that so forwards all the way down and then start from the back and come back to the beginning okay and see if you can do that And when you've finished all of that, you can have a quick drink. Okay, fantastic. Well done, everyone. So, if you get bored today, or tomorrow or while you're in lockdown and you want something to do and um, that's a really fun way of making up your own um, movements and your own dances so you could do anything you could do um, someone else's name or you could do the name of the town where you live in you could pick any different words and try and use different body parts to give you um, a dance and then you can try it forwards you can try it backwards you can try it really fast or really slow um, and that's a really fun way of um, trying to make something new and using your creativity. 
Um, we're gonna do one of my favorite things now. I love this. I do this with all my friends. It's called dance party. Okay, because it's like a dance party, but it's like the weirdest dance party you've ever been to. So here's how it works. We're gonna, I'm gonna put some music on. We're gonna dance, just dance like yourself, have a good time. And then I'm gonna give you something to dance like. Okay, so I might say, dance like a sheep. And then you have to try and dance like a sheep, okay? Until I give you another one. So I'm gonna give you a few and then get thinking because if you type into the chat, I might take some suggestions of what we can dance like. So try and think about what would be funny to dance like. But first, I'll give you a few. So, I'm gonna find a good song. Here we go. This is a good one. So, get ready to dance. Just dance like you. This is how I dance. <laughs> Okay. I want you to dance like you're in a thunderstorm and you're getting rained on and it's really windy. Don't show up, don't come out, don't start caring. I feel like I'm on a boat. This thing You know how, don't start caring about me. Okay. I don't like normal. Try to. Okay, dance like a crab in the sea. Mummy, or like an Egyptian mummy. 
I don't know. You can choose. You know how. Don't stop caring about me now. I don't you mind them. Try to hurt me with the word goodbye. Now I'm just going to do something. I'm better on the other Okay. Okay, we'll do two more. We'll do a guinea pig. Don't take a guinea pig. quite hot. I bet you're feeling, I've nearly finished all my water. The next thing we're going to do is a little bit calmer. So oh, we can breathe. Oh. Seven guinea pigs. Seven guinea pigs. Some people have got. Imagine you're seven guinea pigs all dancing in a row. That would be so good. Imagine if you actually went to a party and there was like a granny and a guinea pig and a crab and a chocolate bar and Elsa and a mummy all dancing. That would be like the weirdest party ever. Maybe quite fun though. Oh, and it's raining in a thunderstorm. That would be crazy. That'd be a cool party though. Okay, if you want to, um, actually, I'm going to send you on a mission in a second. Um, I've got, I'm just going to dip my screen down so you can see. I've got a few objects here. And all of these objects are objects that make noises. So I'll show you. So um, I've got a plastic bag, which crackles to make good, good noises and you can wave it as well. Um, I've got two pens. So they make noise like that or like that. Um, I've got some scissors. Careful with scissors. Don't chop your fingers off. They kind of make a cutting sound. And also dragging noise. Um, and I've got a book. Which is quite good because you can, that makes a noise and kind of tap on it, but also that's quite a good noise. I've just got a few objects. So um, my mission that I'm gonna send you on, I'm gonna give you about two minutes and I want you to um, run away and find maybe three things, three things each, if there's two of you, try and get three each, that make a noise, okay? But there's two rules. The first rule is don't get anything fragile. We don't want to break anything, okay? Um, and the second rule is try and get things that belong to you or if they don't belong to you, make sure you ask if you can borrow them, okay? But just three things that make a noise, okay? I'm gonna give you 
two minutes and maybe when you found some just write in the chat when you've come back so I know when everyone's ready to start okay see if you can run away and find three things I'm gonna run away and get some more water Great. You beat me back. Fantastic. Okay. I think. Great. Everyone's back. Perfect. Um, so what we're gonna do now is I want you guys to be an orchestra. Okay. Um, so all of these things that you've got in front of you are your musical instruments, okay? And what we're gonna try and do is I've got a story here. It's just a little story. It's the three little pigs. Um, but it's a story that's got lots of sounds in it. And as I tell the story, I want you to try to use your objects to make sound effects for the story, okay? So just have a little try with your objects. Have a little listen to what kind of noises they can make so you know what, you, what you've got you know what you can do. If you know the story of the three little pigs, you might be able to guess what some of the noises are gonna be. Okay. So, I'm gonna try and join in, but I'm gonna be telling the story and doing the sound, so it might not be very good. Um, okay. So get ready, you can use anything. And don't worry if it doesn't sound quite right. Um, the key thing is to try and do something in the right place. Okay, so once upon a time, there were three little pigs and their mum sent them off to make their fortune. Now the first little bit pig found a pile of straw. And he started to build a house. He had to cut up the straw with a saw and fix it all together with a hammer and nails. Until finally his house was finished. But all of a sudden, there was a knock at the door. It was a wolf. And the wolf said, let me in, little pig. Let me in, let me in. But the little pig said, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So the wolf said, well, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed. And he puffed and the house fell down with a crash. Now the second little pig, he found a pile of sticks. And he started to build a house made of sticks. He had to cut up the sticks with a saw and fix it all together with a hammer and nails. Until finally his house was finished. But all of a sudden, there was a knock at the door. It was a wolf. 
And the wolf said, let me in, little pig. Let me in, let me in. But the little pig said, no, not by the hair, on my chinny chin chin. So the wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And he huffed. And he puffed. and the house fell down with a crash. Now the third little pig, he had found a house, sorry, he found a pile of bricks. And he started to build a house made of bricks. He had to mix up lots of cement. to stick his bricks together. And he put one brick on top of another brick and on top of another brick. And he used a hammer and nails to fix it all together. Until his house was finished. But all of a sudden, there was a knock at the door. It was the wolf. And the wolf said, let me in, little pig. Little pig, let me in. But the pig said, no, not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So the wolf said, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. And he puffed. And he puffed. And he huffed. And he huffed. And he huffed. But he could not blow the house down. I think we need a round of applause for the third little pig. And maybe give me your best wolf howl, because the wolf's very sad that he didn't get to blow the house down. Oh! And the wolf ran away into the forest. He lost a leg. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay. This is one of my favourite things to do. And it's really simple, but it's really effective. So again, if you get bored this afternoon, or maybe one of the other days, you could practice um, with this. And see, I mean, you could make up your own story and try and give it sound effects. Um, or if there's two of you or with your mum and dad, you could see if they could read a story and you could collect lots of objects and try and make an orchestra to follow on with the story. And if you feel really brave, you could even try and perform it for the other people in your house. Why not? Um, before we go, that was a nice calm activity, which is lovely. Um, but I think I would like to jump one last time okay so we're going to try the jumping that was eight and then six and then four and then two and then one um and we'll try it once like that with the music and then we'll try with that clap as well on the number two okay and then that'll be the last thing then we're finished okay so i'm gonna get harry back hi harry so make sure you're facing the right way. I better put my camera up so you can see. Okay. Everybody ready? And off we go. One, six, two, four, five, six, seven, ten.
number two. Get ready. See if we can do it. Oh, I nearly turned you off. I want to turn the music on. That's what I want to do. Okay, let's go. Oh, before we start, get your hand ready. Put it on your head. Get your other hand ready. Put it on your head. Ah. Your brain's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This is your thinking hat. Ready? Oh. This is my fun fact for the day. When you do exercise like we're doing now, your brain actually gets bigger. You make more brain cells. So that's why it's really important that we exercise when we're not at school, because then our brains keep growing. And then when you do go back to school, you'll have the biggest brain. Yes. Okay, last time. Okay, let's get ready.